How do they start unboxing videos? Oh, hold on. Okay. Hey, welcome back to First Time with Film. We're gonna try something I've never done before uh, on this channel. It is an unboxing. Hooray! <laughs> this is my wife, Megan. We have gone kind of far into purchasing film cameras and so far as to uh spend too much money yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me let me get the box here hold on uh, it's not a small box but this was a lot of film cameras that we we bid on and we won we spent a grand total of 15 dollars on the lot not including shipping. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go through this box with you, share what we've got in it, and maybe go over some tips on how to see if what you got is worth it. You have the knife? Yes. Or am I supposed to like ask you for it? Are you, why no, are you? I was, the oh. autofocus is on me and not on you. Oh. Focus on me! <laughs> focus on me! There you go, autofocus on me. Alright, perfect. Alright. Let's cut it open. Yay! All right, packing stuff. Ooh. All right, do you want to pop these? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need scissors. Well, this one's not wrapped in anything, so let's open this one first. Ooh, Argus. We got an Argus Centaur Comper with Argus Autotronic 35. It's big and boxy. That is, that is intense. How do you see through this? Oh, classic <laughs> rangefinder look, eh? Comes in this nifty leather case. All right, Argus Autotronic. First, first one, not bad. One of the risks with buying lots like this is you don't get to get your hands on them to see if anything works or if there's anything broken or if it's just cosmetic damage. So you're kind of buying off of the description and this one didn't have a description. It just had one or two pictures about what they were and it pretty much just said vintage cameras. And so from there we had to go to what I know about vintage cameras to see if it was worth it. You pick one, which one do you wanna pick? Oh, well, you know which one I'm gonna I'm pick. I'm gonna save this one for last. Oh, that's the one nope, I wanted. We're picking, saving that one for last. Why? There's one camera in here that we're hoping is actually a camera, and we're gonna open it last. I wanted to open it first. Yeah, no, that's not how this works. You've seen, you've seen unboxing videos. Yeah, but I like getting to the good stuff first. Ooh, Ooh little brownie. Ooh, there you he's go. cute. He's real cute. There you go. So that's it. Okay. This is like one of those really old ones. It doesn't have a huge complex system. Five to ten feet and then beyond 10 feet. And you would just move this tab over and the lens inside would adjust to pretty much an infinite focus. The downside to this one here is you're not actually seeing through the lens. You can see right here's the viewfinder. So you would look through that tiny little, oh my gosh, can you even see that tiny square? Look at how tiny, you see how small that is? I mean, what? why is that so small? So like, I don't even know, oh, there you go. So you gotta like line it up just right. <laughs> and then you're literally just looking through two panes of glass. Oh god. You're literally just like getting the thing in the square and then you would hit the button. Alright. Item cute. number two, cute little brownie. I'm gonna pick this one wrapped in the white foam. I know what this is. One of the Polaroids. Whoa! There you go. So another one. Looks like it needs a little bit of cleaning love. Polaroid Color Pack 2 land camera. Yeah, classic Polaroid in that you can lighten and darken it. Look at this little carry thing. That's interesting. You even got directions here on the side. Select the film speed, how to develop it, hold the camera, let it hang. Oh, that's why you have it. You hold the handle, that's how it would develop. Begin timing development. Wait for full time given in film instructions. Wow, so like the films had different instructions when they were doing them here. You still think they make this film? No way. That sounds fun, I want to try it. No, there's no way they still make this film. Again, it looks like you're looking through just two panes of glass, but there's a red square there so you can center it. So I guess maybe if you're zoomed all the way in, you're only getting that much. All right, so camera number three, Polaroid Color Max 2. It's very cool. I think it's gonna look very cool on a shelf. Yeah. Next one is your choice. This one. That one, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you picked that one on purpose. Yep. 
There you go. Classic Polaroid land cam. Is this considered a vintage one? I mean, I think any Polaroid that's square like that, I would consider it vintage. They probably don't make this film. Um, I'm not sure. We'd have to look it up. I like it. Use X SX70 film. Polaroid Originals color film SX70. $30 for, what is that, a 10 pack? Uh. No, not even. Eight? Thirty dollars for an eight pack of film for that. You may have to save up <laughs> to buy film for this guy. Alright. I like it. I like it too. Polaroid. Alright, I get to choose next. So I'm gonna pick whatever this one is. I'm just grabbing them at random. Oh. What is this? I don't know, but it needs some cleaning. Kodak Do. Eastman Kodak Company, Rochester, New York. Wow, this definitely looks like it took some kind of 35 millimeter film, maybe? So, there's a look at the Kodak. It is very dirty. Like, you can't... I don't want to put my eye up to it. You can't see through the viewfinder. It's got this really fancy shoelace cord on it. So it's like, it's got, like, screwed... It's got, like, ridges, like a screw would. Right? And I'm guessing that's how you would zoom in and out. Another thing about buying cameras through these estate sales is that people don't really know what they have sometimes, and they don't necessarily know the best way to explain it or ship them. So things like this that you've probably never seen before, they don't even know that this can retract in and be shipped in a smaller capacity like so. So, plus it just looks cooler this way. Your turn to pick one, love. We got like 10 oh million gosh. left. You wanna take that one? Yeah. All right, that one it is. Ooh. Is it in a case? Oh no. I don't know. Oh, it's another Polaroid. That's a big one. Color burst, oh, it's a Kodak instant shot. Maybe nope. you don't open it. No, you gotta open it. I mean, you gotta open it and put the film in, but I think you just look through it like that. Classic Polaroid is held more horizontal, right? So hold up how you would hold that one, right? That's cool. Oh, Ooh. mystery box. In the, right. in the photo for the lot, it was literally laying on the table like this. So you could see that there was a camera in it because of the circle, right? And that was about it. So we have no idea what camera this is. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh. So I don't know how to pronounce this one. So I'm going to pronounce it Maikai. Sure. Or Mikai. I've seen one or two of these on... Facebook Marketplace, it's 100% plastic. Like it is, it feels very cheap. But I think it's almost like a reloadable, disposable camera. I like it. Look at that. It's cute. So it does have a lens that is rotating, right? It does kind of focus a little bit. It's a 50 millimeter 5.6. So this is definitely an outdoor only camera. You are not going to get good photos inside with this. No, this doesn't pop up. Do you think? Oh, do you think? Oh. <gasps> Wow. Oh, it had <gasps> film in it. Oh, man. No, we just messed it up. Pro tip, right? When you get something like this, you can wind up the film, and then this can become a roll of film that you use to test out your other cameras. There it goes. All right. So you're excited for this one. Yes. I think it's cute. Which bubble-wrapped one do you want next? Oh, man. There's so many. Oh, my gosh. I can't even get it up. <laughs> All right, right? That's what she said in the comments. <laughs> uh, oh. Ooh, that needs a lot of cleaning. Ooh. That's probably why. Mm hmm. Because it doesn't close. It's just been sitting there with it open. Wow, it is chunky. Look at that. It's clearly been sitting like this for years. Because look at how clean the back is <laughs> in comparison. Got a little macro. Oh my gosh, you mm. just moved your hand and the dust just came off. So you got a telly and a wide. 62 mil and a 34 mil. Autofocus camera, Kodak. It's got a neat little grip on the side. All right, so we'll be able to slide some batteries into here. The battery compartment looks fairly clean. Maybe this works with a little bit of TLC. All right, I like it. I, I hope that, I hope it works. I believe we have a second one of those, yes. Yeah, so there's another oh, Kodak hi. S right here. And this one looks like it's in a little better condition, uh, cosmetically. This one was also apparently a thrift store find, $1.99 as is. <laughs> it's definitely cleaner. 
Well, there's definitely film in there. Oh, it's got an expiration date on it. No, 24 exposures. Oh. It had a battery pack in it. Still looks clean. Yeah, it still looks clean. So when you find a point and shoot or something with batteries already in it, nine times out of ten in my very short time with film, there's corrosion in it, but there's an easy way to fix it, which I'll show you in another video, and if I've made it already, it'll go here, or here, here, it'll go here, over your head. So, this one looks like it's in way better condition. I don't want to open the film compartment, because there's still 14 photos left. Or 10. Either way, there's still photos on this, and I kind of want to shoot this film to see what, what it does. Do it. Let's do the big one. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Yours. Look at this guy. I like this orange bubble wrap. I don't know that I've ever seen orange bubble wrap. It hides stuff. I Is that know. what it's good for? I mean, it's, it's working. It says Polaroid on it. Ooh. You think it's film? What? What is this? I don't know. It's cute, though. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what it's is like this? It's like digital? What is going on? Look at this thing. Does anybody know what this is? Polaroid PDC 700. Oh, I cannot wait to put batteries into this and see if it works. Why is there a video out? I don't understand. Oh, I'm so excited to find out more about this one. Stay tuned to see if we figure out what the heck this is. Let's do this one. <gasps> Yay! Ooh, an Instamatic. Oh. oh. What happened to it? I don't know. These are great little shelf decorations, right? You can see this. You can see this from a mile away and know exactly what it is. Um, it's clear what it is. It looks like you got water all over it. Yeah. At some point. So. Okay. Let's... Don't touch your eyes. To the real big boy here. You know it's a big Polaroid when it's got its own, like, suitcase. <laughs> Go ahead, love. You like the Polaroids. Oh, yeah. So this is the automatic 250 LAN camera. They don't... I don't believe they even bother making the film for these anymore. You hold it like this. Right, and the front of this comes out and then it retracts back in. Uh, the viewfinder should pop up as you do that right here. So this should flip around like so. And then you're able to look through it as this guy like extends this way. Uh, I'm not going to open it because I'm not very good at putting them back away. Uh, but these also make a really cool shelf piece when they're open all the way. But they are kind of a pain to keep clean because they have the little ridges and all that stuff. But they look super sweet. So, awesome. Like yeah, me too. Oh, gotta put the viewfinder back in, then we can close it. So when we looked up this lot, we saw this case. Can you read that? Right? Canon QL. I am fascinated, enamored. I love rangefinders. And I have had very little success in finding a working rangefinder of high quality. So we saw this and we're like, man, it looks like it's got a camera in there, but it might be just the case. So we took a risk on getting these because all of these other cameras were in there and we got it at a price that we thought was uh, good enough even if we didn't use these cameras. Now it's attached to something and I don't know if there's a camera in here. A flash for the Argus? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Remember you were asking me what one of these was? Look at that guy. Look at that. Well that's what was in that case. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's hope this is what's on the, on the front of it. Why can't I open it? <laughs> <gasps> Canon at QL25. Yes! Oh, I gotta take it all the way out. It's got a lens hood. All right, quick inspection. First things first, these Canonettes are built like a tank, right? It feels, it's all metal, it feels great. This lens hood is awesome. I, let's see, the focus throw works, the aperture ring works, the shutter speed ring works. Oh, we gotta see if there's a battery in it. The film advances. Okay. Okay, the... Mmm, the focus system is almost non-existent. And the shutter didn't fire. Turn it down there, do that. Mmm. I might need a battery. Where's Philip? Let's find Philip. Philip the nickel. Comment down below if you remember Philip and you know what show that's from. Go put it put it down in the comments right now if you know what show Philip the Nickel is from. And we can be friends. Find me on Twitter. <laughs> it's a girl nickel. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Alright, so there was a battery in it. It's an old mercury battery. So if you look, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the overhead. There's a little bit of corrosion in there, so maybe clean that up. You open this guy up. The QL is called the QL because of this quick load system. I believe they were trying to be in competition with Leica and their quick load system. And that was the big catch about it being QL. 
that was why it was called what it was. Well, that ended on a sour note. We still got a couple we can shoot. That's the whole unboxing. For 15 bucks, I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Quick recap. We got all of this for $15. We got at least two cameras we know we can shoot. We got a bunch in really good condition. And if nothing else, we got a ton of shelf pieces that are gonna look awesome in the background of a future video. If you like this type of video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down there. We'll make more of these as we get more lots. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.